Welcome to Crafty Beach. This is Julie, and today I have luau DIYs for you using supplies from the Dollar Tree. The first half of this video is going to be really focused like on luau party. The second half of the video is more decor. You could also use that for a party too, or you could just decorate with it for fun. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this foam board from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to cut this down. I'm just using this cutting mat as reference because I just want to cut this down and make it a little bit shorter. What I want to do is turn some of this ready board, this foam board from the Dollar Tree into a thatch roof for a luau party table. So I'm going to set my party table up inside my house. And so I have a curtain rod I'm going to use for a base. If you didn't have a curtain rod, you're going to have to build some kind of structure or something to hook it to. But that is what I'm planning to do. I want to make a thatch roof using some of those grass skirts from the Dollar Tree. So I cut about a foot off of one of these and I'm gonna do the same thing on a second one. I'm also gonna use these little one foot portions that I cut off to make the base for this, to make it like um, pitch out like a roof, if you know what I mean, from the wall. So I'm gonna use these little grass skirts from the Dollar Tree. This is the child size. This was the only size that I had that the adult size is going to be a little bit longer. But we're going to make this work with the child size. It's just a shorter because, you know, a shorter skirt for a child. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is just attach some masking tape to my foam board. And the only reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to hot glue. And I find that that foam board kind of melts and sizzles a little bit if you add hot glue to it. But the masking tape seems to prevent that from happening. So I just kind of measuring how long that needs to be. And it is going to be a little short, probably because it's a child size, but I wanted to double it up anyway. So to make it thicker, to make it look like thatch. So I'm just going to go down a little bit and put a second row of masking tape. And that's where I'll attach my first grass skirt. It's on this twine already. I'm going to leave it on there. And I'm just going to do a bead of hot glue all the way across my masking tape and just glue this on. Now, it's kind of big, so you can't really see. But the grass skirt goes all the way to the bottom of the foam board and overlaps a little bit at the bottom to kind of give you that thatch look. But again, I wanted to double it up to make it look thicker anyway. So I am going to do two of those, too. Now I'm going to go ahead and set up my second board just so it will be exactly the same. I want this to be wide, as wide as my party table. So um, I'm going to do two of these side by side. So I set my second one up the same exact way with two rows of a masking tape. Now, just to kind of make it stay in place, I do kind of just hot glue um, it down a little bit just to make sure it kind of lays flat. But Probably not that necessary. Now here is my second grass skirt that I'm gonna use for that top row. And when I undo it, I just make sure they're all kind of tight up against each other so it's nice and thick. And then just hot glue that twine at the top. It's already all tied off. Makes it super easy. And overlap that on the first one. Just cutting off the twine from the sides. You kind of see that overlap there at the bottom. And then we're gonna do the same exact thing on foam board number two. I was looking, you know, some ways that people have made um, kind of similar thatch roofs. If you have a party table that's kind of freestanding, a lot of times they use like PVC pipe and stuff like that to build a structure. Um, and that sounds like a lot of work. Now I was gonna do mine against the wall, so the curtain rod is definitely gonna help me with the structure, but you could probably attach this to any kind of wall. Um, you might have to modify how I did it a little bit though. 
So I hot glued down the first grass skirt and here is the second one. And if you use the adult size, um, you it might be long enough for you, but I still think you're gonna wanna double them up to make it look a little bit thicker. So I just glue the second one on too and cut off the extra skirts. And these were our extra pieces of foam board that we cut off before. And I wanted to cut that off to make them shorter, but I also wanted to be able to make like braces or brackets. And I was kind of thinking, you know, like a shelf bracket or something like that. But I also want something that's gonna like slope down like a roof. So I'm gonna cut out some triangle shapes here. And working on my geometry there. <laughs> and I want two of those. So two brackets for each one. So this is my extra board for my second one that I cut off. And I'm going to use my triangles as a reference to cut out two triangles on that one as well. Now I need some way to like attach this to my curtain rod. So I kind of need like a notch or something. So I'm just going to kind of draw that on. Um, what I think a hook would look like that's going to hang on my curtain rod and the foam board's going to be nice and light So I don't think it'll interfere at all with my curtain rod. I think it'll be plenty strong enough for this And then I just cut that out and then use that as reference for my second piece And just using some like heavy duty scissors to cut both of those out Now I was thinking that it was not sloped down quite enough um, if I were to hang it like directly on there, so I'm gonna try to make it slope down a little bit So I'm gonna kind of adjust my triangle here And so if that hooked on now, it's gonna slope down like a roof shape So I'm gonna do the same thing here on my second one And we have two little brackets and now for the second set for our second board I'm gonna need to do the same thing by cutting those down to make them slope as well. And then I'll also have to cut some notches in those. Now, Dollar Tree foam board is really easy to work with. It's gonna provide you enough structure to keep this up, but again, you know, it's gonna be light enough that you can just hang this on your wall easily. So we have all four of our brackets. We have both of our foam boards covered in grass skirts to make them look like that. Now just a matter of attaching the brackets to the back of the board. And the like curtain rod will be on the back there. So that's where I'm gonna have my hook openings. To attach it, I'm simply gonna use some more masking tape. The way it's going to like lean down, you're not really going to be able to see the structure under there. This is all going to be kind of hidden, but I think the masking tape is going to be plenty strong enough to hold the bracket on there. And I kind of just do one on each side. And then my plan is just to hook that onto my curtain rod and let the thatch roof gently lean down. So this is how my first one looks. As you can see, one foam board is kind of skinny. So that's why I did two, so I could do two back to back, but this is how it looks like underneath with our two brackets sitting on my curtain rod. So that is number one. And so now I just need to do the same exact thing here with board number two. I knew I could probably do a thatch with these grass skirts, but I was really uh, impressed with how easy it was to do and how fun it turned out. And a thatch roof I think is definitely necessary for a luau party. It's totally gonna give you that tropical vibes. And so I just went ahead and attached the second braces on and hung this on my curtain rod as well. So I kind of have it centered on my window. My party table is going to go right in front and each one of them have a bracket that I just simply used masking tape on. And we have a thatch roof. How cool is that? It's kind of funny, you can let the grass skirt kind of drape down on the sides of them to kind of frame that out, kind of like a box shape. 
Now we need a tablecloth for our party table and I found this great tropical print tablecloth at the Dollar Tree. I love the colors in this and I'm gonna use this as a lot of inspiration for my party table. I'm gonna use the pineapple inspiration. Very tropical, very Hawaii. The hibiscus, that pink color, that bright pink color. We're gonna use that as inspiration too. And I think this is so pretty. Now these ta tablecloths from the Dollar Tree that they have in the summer, they're like flannel bath, but they're really thin. But I think it would definitely work for a party. I don't know how well it would work for day to day though. So here's my party table that I've set up in front of my window. I like to trim my party tablecloths down to size. And so that is what I'm doing. I'm just cutting what I need to go on the top part of the table. Now I have an idea to do like a table skirt to, um, you know, box that all in and make it look really cute. And this is how we're gonna do it with some more of the luau skirts. Now this is the adult size. So this is the longer one, but I love using these. You'll see I use these a couple times today for like a table skirt or something like that. Um, it works really well. It's all tied up into a skirt anyway, so it just makes sense to use that as a table skirt. So I'm just gonna open these up. They're already tied on the twine. So it's just a matter of stringing those around the edges of my party table. And then we can decorate it even more from there. I love decorating with these. So I just kind of peel up my tablecloth and I'm just using like packing tape, just some clear packing, packing tape, something that's gonna be easy to remove after the party and just putting that on my party table. My party table is nice and um, clean because <laughs> I got a new one. My husband took my party table to work and like destroyed it. And um, I love the little party tables that fold up really flat. This one like folds up and then folds in half. So it's really easy to store. So I just taped that all the way around and that is how our little grass skirt looks. I'm also gonna tape down the corners of my tablecloth just to make sure that they stay in place and also like round off the edges. Now to kind of cover up the transition part, I thought I would use some of this mesh ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I love this. The tan one's my favorite. I think it kind of looks a little bit like fishing net, you know, like all like crazy fishing net. And so that's what we're gonna use because, you know, I wanna kind of do a little bit of a coastal theme with this as well to go with the Luau Tropical Party theme. So I just attached that to the back, just tying it on with the actual grass skirt. Why not? It's already there. So I just do the same thing here in the corner. And I just kind of wanna cover that transition between the tablecloth and the grass skirt. And then I thought we should decorate it a little bit more too. So I found these tropical looking flowers. This is a magnolia. Um, nice big white flowers. I think that's gonna look really cute to decorate our table with. And so I'm just gonna pop the flowers off of the arrangement and then we can just use those to decorate that. I think I wanted to kind of stay with like the pink, white um, color scheme there of that tablecloth. And then I also found these pink ones. These are called Cosmos. And I think these are gonna be lovely as well. If you can find some of the new hibiscus garland that they've been having at Dollar Tree, they have like a bright pink flower. They also have an orange one too. Either one would be really pretty. And then I'm just gonna simply hot glue these to that ribbon. And we're just gonna kind of alternate those. I kind of like lay them out the way that I want them. I want them to kind of go white, pink, white, pink, all the way around the table, but just to finish off that, make that like flower decor from that tablecloth, like just pop out and look more three dimensional. And I love this. The combination of the flowers and the grass skirt, I think really works well. 
And you wouldn't think the magnolia would necessarily be a tropical flower. I picked it because it was nice and large, but it actually goes really well with the decor. But again, that pink hibiscus garland would be super cute as well because, you know, that tablecloth already has like the hot pink hibiscus on it anyway. And so I'm just going to continue by hot gluing that on just onto that mesh ribbon. And you could probably do that before you hung it as well, but I kind of wanted mine to be perfectly spaced out like that. I think it turned out pretty cute for a party table. And now we can decorate the wall behind it a little bit. Um, I thought we could use one of these little luau party banners and I'm gonna try to make it look a little bit more high end by using some rolled burlap. I got that rolled burlap at Walmart. Um, they do have rolled burlap at Dollar Tree now, not necessarily in a six inch roll like this though, but you could use whatever you can find. And I like the fact that this is luau party, um, but I don't want it to look just like a cheap like paper sign. So I'm just gonna simply cut the letters um, away from the structure. So we just have those great like pastel colored letters that spell out Lua Party. And then I can use those to make my own like pennant banner for the wall behind it. Now I have tropical like palm leaf curtains in my dining room already. So that's gonna, I think, make a great backdrop. So I don't really need to do like a backdrop um, underneath the thatch roof or anything like that. My palm leaf curtains are gonna be perfect, but you might wanna do a backdrop if you don't have that, but you could always just use your wall or whatever and make a cute little pennant banner like this. So this is the rolled burlap. I really like the six, six inch roll that they have at Walmart. And look, it's just about the right size for these letters. And I think it's just gonna make them look a little bit more high end. And just making sure that it is going to work and I think it will. So I just lay out like my first letter and then I'm just gonna trim cut that burlap right along the seam so I have a nice rectangle size. And then I'm just gonna simply hot glue my little paper letters to it. They're kind of made out of like a cardstock material, so they're super strong. I think they're gonna hold up well with hot glue. Then I just use that as a reference to cut out a second one, and we can just glue our letters to this. So it's a fun way to take one of these cheap $1.25 party banners from the Dollar Tree and, and make it your own. And it's a lot easier than trying to cut out these letters and everything on your own or even with a Cricut. Just kind of modify them a little bit. And they already have like little tropical leaf patterns on them and stuff like that. So that's totally going to go with like the luau theme. The A is a little wider, so it does kind of overlap my six inch um, size, but I think that's fine. And I think luau is spelled super weird. Every single time I write it, L-U-A-U, -U, I'm like, that is not right. And then I think about it and I'm like, it is right. <laughs> when we were in Hawaii um, celebrating our 20th anniversary, wedding anniversary last fall, um, the, uh, I guess summer, late summer, um, I was really cracking myself up trying to pronounce the names of the streets and stuff like that on the big island because I cannot say any of <laughs> their words. <laughs> beautiful place though. I've always wanted to go there. It was my first time and we had such a great time. It was my husband and my son and I, and we stayed in a jungle yurt um, with like a 360 view of the ocean. It was like up on top of a coffee farm. It was so beautiful. So I just glued those onto twine for the luau part. And we're going to do the same thing here with the party. I also wanted to say party. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of bulk cut out all of my burlap pieces. And using the roll like that, you can see it does make it easier, you know, um, than cutting it out. But, you know, they have the big sheets of burlap that are all rolled up into... Um, 
a roll. I'm not sure what size those are. They're pretty big that they have at Dollar Tree now. You could totally do it with those two. You would just have to cut out all four sides. So P-A-R-T-Y, hot glue all of those on. And then I took some more twine from the Dollar Tree and just hot glue those on. And I am just using that little plastic um, laminate that I have there just as a spacer so I don't have to measure in between the pieces just to speed it up a little bit. And the tool that you see me using there for my hot glue so I don't burn myself is just a cake decorating tool from Dollar Tree. I love grabbing those for hot glue. That's what I use mine for, not necessarily cake. So I just tied this to my curtain rod and strung luau and party separately against the back wall. I think this looks really good. And um, you can tell I spent a little um, extra effort on those and not just a store-bought sign. So we have our thatch roof back there and we have our luau party banner. Now it's time to decorate the party table. So I picked up one of these little wooden pineapples from the Crafter Square at Dollar Tree. I had somebody calling me out for using Crafter Square products in one of my videos recently instead of Dollar Tree and that I can't call it Dollar Tree DIY. Oh, come on. I think we all know that Crafter Square is at Dollar Tree. Am I right? <laughs> I thought that was a given. So I'm also gonna use some of their craft wood from the Dollar Tree as well. It's also found in Crafter Square at Dollar Tree. And it's just the brand name they use. And I am just staining mine with some antique wax by Waverly. And I love the way that this wood stains. It looks so nice. You can see that beautiful wood grain in there. And what I wanna do is use two pieces of craft wood to build a little like plate holder um, that we can put the party plates in for the luau party. You know, you could probably use this for a napkin holder as well. Um, it's a little bit heavier duty though than you might need, but you could totally use some um, smaller of the thinner wood. Um, the little craft planks would work well for that too. I do have an idea for a napkin holder and I'll show you what I ended up doing, but this one is gonna be for my party plates. So I stained two pieces of the craft wood, and then we're also going to stain the little wood pineapple. It's already got this base on it, and so that is actually gonna help with part of the structure. And I'm just using the Antique Wax by Waverly to stain my hand, <laughs> the pineapple, and just wipe off the excess with a paper towel. So easy to use, and it dries so quickly. I love that stuff. As you know, I use it all the time. And I think that looks really cool. I wasn't able to find like a um, paper plate, luau paper plate that I like from Dollar Tree. And so I actually use some of their like actually plastic um, plates. Um, they're a little bit heavier duty than a normal party plate, but they're also from Dollar Tree. So they're super inexpensive. I do want to have a hint of being distressed with some yellow for that pineapple color. You had to bring out the yellow pineapple like we have on our tablecloth. And so I just distress with like this mustard color of paint that I had. And I just distressing over that stain to let the stain kind of come through. But I just want it to be like kind of tinted in yellow. And then I also want to do the same thing for the top of the pineapple. We're just going to distress it in green. I don't remember what shade of green that is. And it doesn't really matter. I didn't even like it. I went back in with another green that I had and just distressed the top of that. That way the back of it's still stained, the base of it's still stained, but the front of it's kind of got that yellow and green pineapple vibe. Now it's time to put our little plate holder together. I'm just gonna do a bead of hot glue along the back and just sit this on here, making it like a 90 degree square angle, hopefully. And just using hot glue to put that together. I think that's gonna be plenty strong enough for the application. And then we're just gonna attach 
the little pineapple part here to the top. I'm just going to put hot glue on the base of it and glue that right on top. And I think the opening is going to be plenty large enough to hold my party plates. And I love customizing stuff like this. So these are the plates that I found at Dollar Tree in their like summer section. You get four of them for $1.25. So even though they're not paper plates, they're still pretty inexpensive. But I like that hot pink color. I thought that was gonna go great with our tablecloth and the luau vibe. So we're just gonna take these apart. You're probably gonna wanna wash yours before you use them. I just want to show you how it's gonna look though. By just sitting those in our little plate holder. I like to customize everything for parties. I have so much fun. My son had some of the most epic birthday parties growing up. <laughs> Ask anybody. <laughs> and now for I napkin holder I told you I had a different idea this is just one of those little flamingo signs from the Dollar Tree it doesn't matter which one it is because you're not gonna be able to see it then I popped a flamingo off to use for a previous DIY I'm just gonna pop the little sawtooth hanger off the back of the sign but I measured and this frame is the perfect size to hold napkins and I found these great summer vibes napkins from Dollar Tree with the pineapple on them so perfect for the luau theme and look how it fits perfectly in there and we're just simply going to sit napkins in that little frame to make a little napkin box. Super easy. And that way you can see the fun design right there on the napkins without it being blocked by anything as well. So we're going to kind of just sit that there with our plates to get started on the party table. Now, this is a tray. I got this at Target Dollar Spot. You guys know I love to go there too. $5. I think it's so cute. It's seagrass. Very high quality, I think, for $5. And we're just going to use that for our cups and straws and stuff. And I found these bright yellow party cups, uh, $14 for $1.25 at Dollar Tree. They're like the yellow plastic, like, you know, kind of like solo cups. But I thought that bright yellow color would look great with my luau party. I also found some bright green little plastic solo shot glasses, so that's super fun too. I like mixing up the colors. It's going to make it look more tropical, right? I wanted to do like cups, um, the shot cups, and like straws and stuff on there. And I found these little paper straws in the summer section at Dollar Tree. These are yellow and white with a green um, and yellow pineapple on them. So they're totally going to go with that pineapple vibe we've got going on on the table. The, you do have to kind of open them up though. They're like one of those like little honeycomb structures. And if you open them up, they have like the little paper leaves on there that you kind of put together that kind of keeps them open. They're not like perfect, but they're fun and party vibes. You could also use the ones, you know, with like the little party umbrellas like built into them as well. That'd be super cute. But I really wanted to go with the pineapple ones to go with my pineapple on my tablecloth and, you know, the whole Hawaii vibe. So I just go ahead and open those up. And I think those look great with it, but I need something to put them in. So I picked up one of these little tiki cups from the Dollar Tree because I liked the face on it. And I thought, you know, it's blue plastic. It kind of looks cheap, but we can make this look high end and we can make a little straw holder. So let me show you how I did that. First, I want to cover up the blue on there and I'm just using ivory chalk paint. The reason I'm using chalk paint is just to get a little bit better coverage on that bright blue plastic, but you can always do this with acrylic as well. You're just going to need probably uh, more coats of it. But look how cute the design is on that. That is something that would be hard to kind of recreate on your own. So using a Dollar Tree plastic item like this um, is a great backdrop for this that we can kind of make our own thing. I wanted mine to look like old distressed wood, but we got to cover up all of that blue first. And as you can see, even with chalk paint, I did have to go over it with like a couple of coats to cover up all of that blue to give me a nice ivory 
background. And this is going to be just about the right size, I think, to hold those party straws. And it's going to look nice and tropical right there on that tray that we just um, put together for the cups. Now to make it look like wood, I take Antique Wax by Waverly and a chunky brush from the Dollar Tree. And as you can see, I'm just like lightly dragging that over to bring out that pattern, just distressing that. And I just make sure that I just work in one direction. We're gonna go all the way around the cup and it gives you like a faux wood grain, which is gonna make it look like a little carved wood piece. It's gonna make it look so much more high end and only $1.25, so you can't beat that, right? I'm also gonna go around the top here. It does have like a screw top and I will have to kind of um, put something on there to kind of finish that off so you can't really see that part. But I go ahead and do the bottom as well. And then just using like a paper towel, I just kind of wipe off any excess if I get think I got a little bit too much anywhere. And then I can always go back and blend it a little bit. I don't want it to be too dark, but I definitely want you to be able to see like that design. And so I just kind of blend it, wipe off the excess, just kind of work with it a little bit until I'm like happy with it. Now for that screw part on the top that I told you I needed to disguise, I'm just going to disguise it with some Dollar Tree burlap ribbon. So I am just kind of seeing how big of a piece I need and just cutting that off. And we already kind of painted the outside part of it white. And I kind of want to disguise that whole area like that. So I'm just going to kind of wrap it around tuck it down in there, just kind of fill it up. So I do a bead of hot glue all around the edges of the screw top for the cup and just glue the burlap on there like that. And then I am just gonna simply fold that down inside. And the tension's gonna kind of keep it in place, I think. And just kind of make a cover for the lip of that cup. Do the skies all that and kind of make it go with the vibe of the wood and the beautiful tiki little cup we made for our party straws. And I have a couple more DIYs similar to this. I, I can't wait to show you. They turned out so cute. So here's our party straws. They fit in there perfectly. And it's a great way to display these cute little pineapples. And I think it definitely looks a lot better than it did to begin with, with that like bright blue color. Look how cute that turned out. So we're gonna sit that on our little beverage tray there with those. I also wanted a pop of pink and I picked up one of these little pink flamingo solar lights. And this is just gonna be a bit of fun. Just to add a pop of pink, um, a fun tropical vibe. I was surprised to see that when we were in Hawaii that flamingos are not native to Hawaii. Even though people kind of like to put them in with tropical decor and it looks great together. But the only flamingos you're going to see there are um, at the zoo. And I was told that was because of their location. None of the flamingos like could naturally reach them um, flying because it was just like too far away. So I just kind of break the bottom off just because I wanted my little pink flamingo to kind of sit in there. It still didn't want to sit up too well, though. So <laughs> I'm just going to use one of these little wood circles from a puzzle at the Dollar Tree. I buy these sometimes just for shapes because circles and stuff like that can be kind of hard to find. And it's yellow, so it's going to go with the vibe right. And I just hot glue my little pink flamingo on there. If you're having your party outside, it's going to light up at night. <laughs> I don't know how well inside it will do, but I just wanted a little pink flamingo to sit in there. They also have the pink flamingos this year that light up with a little switch. If you've seen those, that would be super cute as well. So here is our little cup straw tray. I like the fact that it's all together in a tray. I think that looks cute and tidy and it totally goes with the tropical vibes. Now this is the other DIY I was telling you about. With the little tiki faces, I picked up three of these little plastic cups from the Dollar Tree 
And I chose three different colors just for fun. And I don't know if their faces are different. I can't really tell. I don't think they are. And I want to make these look more high end as well. Because I always like to do like some kind of fun custom thing to put like the plastic silverware in the cutlery. And I want to do knives, spoons, and forks. You know, just the general ones. I've made the thing for the plates. I've made something from the napkins. I want to do something fun for the silverware. So we're going to kind of do the same technique here that we did on the straw holder where I'm using ivory chalk paint and going over the cup and covering up all that bright color. I did choose three different colors because I am going to leave like the inside um, unpainted because I don't want, you know, like any paint touching like the plastic silverware that people are going to eat with, you know. So I thought it would be fun to have the insides tinted different colors, bright tropical colors, um, and they really kind of pop with that white painted on the outside, as you can see. Makes them really bright on the inside. So all three cups, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just painting them with that ivory chalk paint first. And then I want them to look wood as well. I think that looks very tropical, very luau. So I'm going to do the same technique that we did on the straw holder. Antique Wax by Waverly, a chunky brush from the Dollar Tree, and just working in one direction, distressing it and bringing out that great carving like detail on there. It makes it look so cool. I love it. I was really hoping this would work well for these and I was really pleasantly surprised. Antique wax can do so many things. So I just go all over and just work in one direction, kind of blending it as I go. Making sure that my paint is good and dry. You definitely want to make sure your paint is dry before you start using the Antique Wax by Waverly. Otherwise, it's just going to blend in and you're going to get like just tan paint. <laughs> And it does take a little bit of time for the Antique Wax by Waverly to dry. So be careful touching it after you've painted it. Um, I like to let mine sit a little bit more than using my heat gun on them. I find time um, helps that dry um, a lot better. And so I do the same thing on all three of my cups, making them look wood, but they also have those fun pink, yellow, purple colors on the inside of the cups as well. Now I just wanted to do kind of like a base to make them all together. So it's like a little cutlery, can't say that word, cutlery tray, <laughs> if you will. And so I'm going to use some Dollar Tree craft wood again. I just picked up two of these like shorter pieces. And um, I'm going to use hot glue to just glue them together. I always like to have a little bit of a stash of this Dollar Tree wood because it comes in handy for making custom projects like this. So I just glue those side to side to make a little base so we can make this all come together. Now I do want it to kind of look, you know, like the carved wood tiki. So I'm just going to use some antique wax by Waverly to stain the tray as well. And if you wanted, you could put like some handles or something on the side. I just wanted like some kind of a plain base to attach these together and make so this something that you can like kind of move all at once. I also do the edges too, just because I thought you still might be able to see them. Look how great that craft wood stains. Isn't that beautiful? Now it's time to put it together. So I just use some hot glue to attach the party cup to the base, just kind of going around the edges where it is going to make contact and just kind of center that on the board. I just kind of used a ruler for reference to make sure that I kind of had that in the center of the board. And then I'm going to kind of center the other two in the space that I have left. One on each side. And we're going to have a really fun little cutlery um, holder for our plastic silverware. And normally I like 
you know, do like a like a box in kind of a fashion where you can also put like napkins and stuff in there too. But I think this turned out fun. And sometimes you don't really um, want napkins to be there too. You want people to kind of be able to work their way through the line. And here it is. Our little holder. Look at those great faces. Aren't they kind of spooky? They're so fun. And I love how this turned out. Very unique, I think. So we can put plastic forks, knives, and spoons in here. I always like to use the clear plastic ones because they'll go with any kind of party decor if you have some leftover at the end of the day. And we're going to kind of sit this over here as well. Not really doing any food on this party table. We'll do food on the table in front of it, but I think that's going to work. Now, this was actually a thrift find. It's kind of ugly, but I got it for half price, so $1.50 at Goodwill. And it's a candle holder that's shaped like a pineapple, but I was on looking out for pineapples. You know, you could always use real pineapples for this if you wanted, but I found this, so I thought we could try to DIY it. It's got a great texture that looks just like, you know, a pineapple, but not a fan of the black color, right? So the first thing I'm doing is just going over this pineapple with some of that ivory chalk paint to try to mask that black color, kind of give me a blank canvas to work with because this was really dark. I don't know why a pineapple candle holder would be black. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what somebody was using this for. But I just want to use this as decor for my party table. And so I thought we, I don't really necessarily want it to be a candle holder, but we're going to kind of make it our own thing. I do want to get in all of those little cracks though, where I was black too. And I found that my first coat didn't really do it. So I switched to a brush with bristles to kind of get in all of those grooves on my second coat of ivory to kind of brighten that up because it was really dark. Now to make it look like a real pineapple, of course, we're gonna use some antique wax by Waverly and drag that over the great texture on there. And this is pretty cool, right? For $1.50 from the Dollar Tree or from Goodwill. And it is, um, I think it's gonna be really fun. But again, you could always use a real pineapple for this. Cause you know, finding something like this might be a little bit difficult. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna find at the thrift store for sure. But I just kind of go all over. And then for the top of the pineapple, I want it to look like a real pineapple. So I'm going to paint it green. Kind of a light leafy green color. All along the bottom here. Where it has like the leaves sticking out of the side. And then flip it over and do the same thing on the top. Again, I didn't really want this to be like a pillar candle holder. It's not really something I had planned for my party table. I just wanted to make it look like a real pineapple. And so I do still have that opening there in the top where it was a candle holder. And I'm just going to use one of these little succulents from the Dollar Tree. Kind of looks like the top of a pineapple, right? Um, to put in there. And I think that I'll kind of finish it off and be a cute little decor piece. Kind of like that. And I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue in here to secure it. Easy peasy little thrift flip and a fun little party table decoration for my luau party. Super cute. I love how it turned out. Now I wanted to kind of put it up where you could see it. I'm going to use one of these little riser tables from the Target Dollar Spot. And then I thought I could also use like one of these little lays from the Dollar Tree. Haven't really used any of those yet, yet, right? Um, to kind of like string around it, kind of use just as, a, you know, a little decor for the party table. And so I need it to be a little bit shorter. So I'm just going to cut mine down and take the strings and tie them off to make a fun little mini um, lay for that little riser and then kind of just sit my pineapple right on top of it. It looks super tropical, super fun. 
and set that back there and just the riser just so you could see it a little bit better on the back of the table. Now the next DIY, we're gonna use some of these great little metal buckets from the Dollar Tree. And then these are little bamboo sticks that I actually got on Amazon. I have these listed in my Amazon shop below. I love DIYing with these. They're so easy to DIY with. I love the shape. And something I haven't really seen those at the Dollar Tree. I made a great toilet paper holder for my coastal bathroom with those. It turned out so cute. But what I wanna do is take these little metal buckets, I have four of them from the Dollar Tree, and I wanted to make like little mini tiki torches um, for my party table that um, you can put like little candles in and have them light up as well. I thought that'd be really cute. So I am just taking the handle off of these and the little tab on the side because what I want to do is I want to make two of them the base to make them stand up on the table and then two of them will be the top of the little tiki torches and I think that these little bamboo pieces are going to work perfectly for that right so what I want to do is just kind of put one on each side like that kind of alternating And I was kind of mutilating my bucket there a little bit um, with my pliers, but I'm just going to use some hot glue and glue that to it. Now, the natural shape of those little tin buckets from the Dollar Tree is going to kind of make that go in, which is something that I want. The reason that this bamboo works great for this project is because I need the wood to be a little bit flexible so that I can bend it. So I hot glue one on each side. So for right now, they kind of crisscross like that naturally, but I'll be able to bend those exactly how I want them. Now I want to add two more um, on this side. So I'm just going to kind of center that out in between those two. And then I'll flip it over and add two more. So I'm going to use a total of six of these little bamboo sticks on each one. Now for the bottom to kind of reinforce that, I put a little dab of hot glue and wrap some Dollar Tree twine around it. It's also going to finish it off and make it look kind of more um, finished there at the bottom with some twine. Now I'm going to do the same thing here with my other metal bucket that I removed the little handle and um, the little tabs from. And these are both going to be my base pieces. And it worked out really well because these are going to be the same size as the top pieces. It's going to kind of be balanced. But since I'm using these little buckets upside down on my table, that's going to be nice and flat and it's going to allow them to stand up. So I attached six the same way, just with hot glue, and then just glued and wrapped some twine off on the bottom to finish that off. And you can kind of see it coming together, right? So this is the tricky part here. You just kind of have to pull them all apart. And then I'm going to sit my metal bucket in the top of it. And I'm going to glue with hot glue them onto the sides of this bucket the same way I did on the top. So I'm going to do one on each side, kind of start with to make sure those are even. And then space out two on each side as well like I did on the bottom. And as you can see, like that bamboo bends really easily. So it's going to be like, you know, um, skinnier in the middle, wider on the outside. And then I'm going to use the same technique I used on the bottom by hot gluing a little bit of twine on there, wrapping that around, cutting it and hot gluing the end. So we have a little metal bucket on each end of that one now. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing here with the other one. I thought if I made a little mini tiki torch, I could put one on each side of my party table. It's going to look super cute and a fun way to do like an indoor or a party little tiki torch. I had a lot of fun making these. I kind of had a vision of what I wanted these to be in my head and I think they turned out really cute. So I just glue all six of my little bamboo pieces to this one as well. This one was a little long. I don't know why. Maybe I didn't get it on there, right? So I trimmed that one up and hot glued it on. And then we're going to twine this one as well. I was trying to decide if I wanted to leave the handle on the top bucket. 
Um, and it doesn't really interfere with it, so it's kind of up to you. Now, to make the middle go in more, I take some twine, tie that off, see how I can make it skinnier in the middle, and then just wrap that around a little bit just to provide another little twine piece to that and give it that tiki shape. So it's kind of like a tiki on both ends. But it turned out pretty cool, I think. And for the candles, I want to be safe. So I'm going to use some LED tea light candles from the Dollar Tree. Just battery operated because we don't want to start any fires at this party. <laughs> but it's going to be fun because you can have this kind of glowing, especially if you're having your party in the evening. And I will show you um, at the end how it kind of looks at night with a little bit lit up with our little tiki torches. I think they're so fun. Trying to give you a view of the whole thing there. I'm going to set one on this side of the party table. And one on the other side as well. Nice tall pieces for the back. They light up, they look super fun, and they were really fun to make. I will make sure that bamboo is in my Amazon shop. I love it. You get a whole bunch of them in a package, too. Now, normally, I don't really care for these, but for a luau party, I think we can go with it. I got a little toucan and a pink flamingo, the little funny tinsel ones um, from the party section for summer at the Dollar Tree. And the colors are bright. It's super festive. And even though I'm not a big fan of the tinsel, I think they're going to make fun little decorations for our luau party table. Kind of as is. What do you guys think? I love the little toucan. Isn't his beak adorable? So cute. So we're just going to kind of put those on our party table. Maybe the toucan over here. So this is I already have a little flamingo over there and maybe the little flamingo just over here. I think my favorite part of this party table, the tea torches and those little uh, tiki faces. I love those. Okay, this one I actually got at the Target Dollar Spot too. I thought it looked kind of trap tropical with like that. It's kind of like the bamboo, but like in a crisscross, and it's got like a little battery operated candle in it. It was $5. I thought it looked cute. It would go good with a blue owl theme, and it's something that I can light up with like another like battery operated candle. So I think I'm just going to kind of sit that one back here. Loving those little tiki faces. Okay, I also want to do like, you know, a little bit of coastal to go with the vibe. And this is just one of those little white ceramic starfish from Dollar Tree. And we're just going to kind of use that as decor. I think I'll put mine here in front of my pineapple. And again, this is a small party table. So it's just basically silverware, plates, cups, um, ice. I thought ice would be good on this too. And I thought it'd be really fun just to use like a bright pink sand pail from Dollar Tree. You can even use the little shovel for the ice. So basically just fill this up with ice. Super easy and a fun idea for an ice bucket. Um, my party's going to be indoor. So I think that the ice will stay frozen for at least a little bit in here. And you can just fill it up with ice and sit it here. And just another little fun idea for a party table. And I think I'm done with this table. This is how it looks with all of the items together. I love the little thatch roof. It kind of like really set the whole luau party table vibe off. And <clears throat> these ideas would be really cute, too, if you wanted to, if you had, like, a cake or something like that for your luau party. Any kind of a dessert table would be really cute as well. But this is how mine turned out and how it kind of looks all lit up in the evening. I think it's really cute. What do you guys think about these party DIYs? Hey guys, I wanted to take a quick moment out of today's video and let you know about my Facebook group. I always have it linked below. We would love to see you over on Facebook. I also have a Facebook page, Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest. And my handle is Crafty Beach on YouTube on all of those. Okay, let's get back into some decor. I told you guys we were going to have some luau decor as well. 
and I'm going to use one of these wire reforms from the Dollar Tree and some of their tropical lays. I thought this would be really fun. I wanted to use some of these bright colors. This is like the hot pink one. And I just tie that to my wreath form and just, you know, kind of doubling it up because you have two at once, just wrapping that around the wreath form. Super cute. I thought I could do like quadrants on this and each quadrant of the wreath would be like a different bright lay color. I thought that would be really cute. And so I just simply tie that back on. And it's nice and full too, because we like wrapped it all the way around. And super easy because I just left it all strung on like the existing lay, right? I kind of push mine through from the back side. So um, I'm not really hiding any really cute flowers here on the back that I wanted to be super full on the front and fluffy. And I picked like four colors that I thought would be like really cute together. Um, and this is the a bright green. So I'm going to start at the very bottom. That way it will be like, this will fill up the other fourth of it and just wrap that around several times, tie that off on one of the inside wires as well, like we did the first time and kind of push it all through again. And I'm trying to like pick colors that are gonna look pretty and bright next to each other. So I'm gonna do orange next. I didn't really wanna do orange right next to pink because they're both kind of the same color family, I guess. And I just tie that down there at the bottom where I did the green one and just wrap it around like three times, three or four times, and then just tie that off. And I'm just using twine to tie mine off. See how easy and fast it is to put together this tropical wreath. And this would be cute for a summer wreath as well. And I'm gonna finish it off with a bright yellow. I had originally picked five, I had a blue there too, but since it kind of filled a fourth, I thought, a Four colors was going to be plenty. I wrap my yellow one around and tie that off as well. Look how bright that is. Isn't that cute? And then I just picked up a fun Hello Summer sign from Dollar Tree with a pineapple on there. It's got bright flowers and just an easy way to hang a sign on this Dollar Tree lay wreath. And just a fun, this would be fun to put on your door if you were having a luau party, or it would be fun just to celebrate summer. It was so easy to put together and so cute. They have some really fun summer signs at Dollar Tree that look great hanging on reefs like this. Super easy, right? And if you look at reefs on Etsy, people use Dollar Tree signs on the front of them all of the time. Okay, this next DIY, I had this idea and I love how it turned out. I'm just gonna take a paper lantern from the Dollar Tree. It doesn't matter what it is because we're gonna cover it up. I just found one, I think mine was like a spring one. And then I picked up these little umbrella picks, the little for your party cap, the little party umbrellas. And I'm just going to open them up and punch that straight through the paper on the paper lantern. And I don't want it going anywhere. So I did add a little hot glue on the underside to make sure that it stays put. And my plan is to take these little party umbrellas, open them up, hot glue on the inside, and just overlap them. What I wanna do is to make a paper lantern of all the little party umbrellas. And I kinda, had an idea for this in my head. It turned out so cute and it looks so cool at night. So you could use any like solid color. Solid color would probably be even better. Um, mine was mostly white. It did have a little bit of a pattern on there, but this was busy enough to um, kind of mask all that. And you can see that I'm kind of like just doing a row along the top and I am overlapping them ever so slightly. And the hot glue, I just didn't know if they would stay in and stay flat. So that's one reason that I'm hot gluing it. You don't necessarily have to, but otherwise it's just gonna poke a hole in there and just kind of be sitting in there. And especially for the ones that are gonna kind of be upside down on the bottom of it, you probably need to use add glue for sure. Now on the second row, you can see, I'm just kind of going about halfway in between each one and 
putting one in there. And since there's so many party umbrellas, I've sped this way up to kind of give you an idea. And I'm just trying to alternate colors, picking a color that I haven't used recently just to kind of give it that varied design. I don't want any of my initial color to shine through. So just overlapping them and working my way through, you get like 16 of these that look like in a package. And you know, you can always use your extra ones for your luau party if you're having one. But this would be a fun idea for a porch decor for summer, something that you could leave up all summer. It doesn't have to be just for a luau party. It'd also be really fun for like a pool party or something like that as well. I think it just screams a summer fun. And I'm just now finishing off the bottom by going around the bottom edges here, overlapping those. I'm going to leave the bottom open um, so that I can turn it on and off. And it turned out so fun. What do you guys think about my little party umbrella paper lantern? I'm going to turn off the lights to show you how it looks at night. Isn't it super cool and colorful and fun? I love it. So it was a success. You can make more than one of these. They would look super cute. But I just wanted to show you kind of how it looks hanging up. This is how it looks hanging like inside for my light fixture. But I use this like as a porch decor for a luau party. Cute. Okay, the next DIY, I'm just going to use one of these little signs from the Dollar Tree. They're so cute. Like it says Island Party, Tiki Bar, Paradise, super bright colors. And instead of a hanging slat sign like this, I thought since they were already kind of like arrow signs, we could just make a really easy like directional arrow sign that's going to be great for a luau decor. So I use a Dollar Tree wood ruler and a Dollar Tree wood block to make that happen. I've been having trouble finding the wood rulers at Dollar Tree. I don't know what the deal is with that. I love crafting with these. I'm gonna use a combination of wood glue and hot glue, and I left them strung together so I would get good spacing, and just glue my ruler to the back. You could use probably any kind of craft wood for that though. You just need something that's going to go straight up and down that you can attach to the back. I wouldn't recommend stapling it to it unless you have some small staples like they use here at the Dollar Tree because it's probably going to go all the way through that thin Dollar Tree sign. That's why I used glue. And then I'm just pulling the staples and the ribbon off the back that have them connected together. And we have a super easy little luau directional sign. I think it looks so cute. I love the little flamingos there on top. Now I just have to find a way to make it stand. So I thought I would use one of these little Dollar Tree wood blocks. You're just going to need something heavy enough to um, make it stand up. And I just hot glue and wood glue that to the back. And let that hot glue dry enough to make it hold for now. And that's what it looks like so far. I wanted to test it to make sure that it was heavy enough. Sometimes those wood blocks in the Dollar Tree, I think they've started making them a little bit more hollow because I don't find that they're very heavy anymore. But I'm going to cover this up at the bottom with just some burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree just to kind of hide the structure and the ruler just to make it look a little bit more finished. And I'm just going to hot glue that all the way around the front and the side just to kind of cover that up and make the base look a little bit more um, finished. And how easy was that little DIY? I think it turned out so cute. This is how I had it displayed in my house for, I kind of used mine for a summer decoration and left it up all summer. And as you can see, I also decorate with some lays too. I'll show you those here in a minute just to kind of, you know, decorate around the base of it. Okay, the next sign, I wanted to make a fun little sign with those little coaster flip-flops from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to take a long sign. It can be any long sign from the Dollar Tree. I had a 4th of July sign that I wasn't going to use. And I'm not going to bother with the glitter side. Um, so I just wanted to kind of cover it up just a little bit, just to make it look a little bit nicer on my back. So I just cut down some cheap Dollar Tree contact paper and I'm just going to get put that on the back just to make the back look a little bit better. 
just because it bothers me sometimes when you craft on the back of these signs and you can kind of still see what was going on on the other side. But nothing too serious. Just kind of kind of cover the back and then we can have this plain surface on the back. It's going to make it easy to work with. Dollar Tree has so many plain signs now. You can probably just get a plain one and not have to do that. I want this to be a horizontal sign to decorate my cabinet for a luau theme. And so I just fill the holes in the sign with some spackle just to fill those up. And I thought we'd make a really cute, like, long beach sign with those little flip-flop coasters. So I wanted it to kind of look like a beach scene because we're doing flip-flops, right? And I thought that would look nice and tropical for the luau theme. So I'm just using, I think this is agave chalk paint by Waverly, but you could use whatever blue you've got. But that's going to give me nice coverage on that wood there in the back. And how cute are these little burlap flip-flop coasters from the Dollar Tree? They do have like kind of um, alternating colors. So I was trying to decide if I wanted them to kind of be mismatched or to kind of match together. But basically what I want it to look like is like two pairs of flip-flops. And I decided I kind of like the matchy-matchy together for a set. Alternate colors. And I'm just going to simply hot glue these on for decor on the sign. Super cute. Now I do add more to this um, sign after I attach the flip flops. But I do go kind of just glue those on first. You could do yours last after you see what I'm going to do here in a minute. Or you could do it first. It doesn't really matter. I just kind of want it to look like two sets of flip flops. I love decorating with whatever coasters they have for seasonal at Dollar Tree. I can you can usually um, get some great shapes, but these are adorable, especially for a, like a little tropical or a luau theme. Now I wanted it to look like you know like a day at the beach, and I thought it looked a little bit plain, so I'm gonna add some sand to that. But I also want it to be a standing sign. So I'm just going to use some of those Jenga blocks from Dollar Tree. And I just wood glued and hot glued those on. One on each side just to make it stand up on my shelf. Kind of make a long shelf sitter. We're going to decorate a cabinet with all of these Luau DIYs. And that's when I decided definitely need sand, right? So I'm going to use some school glue. And I just kind of spread that out here where I want it to be, kind of working my way around the flip-flops. might be easier to do it like I did it because then you don't have to worry about gluing onto the sand. And then I take Dollar Tree brown sand and sprinkle it all over. You probably should put something down first. I don't know why I didn't. But as you can see, I went like higher on one side, lower on the other side to kind of give you that like the shape of a beach, kind of a... The tide is coming in a little bit, right? And cleaning up all my sand. Those ladybug uh, cleaners from Amazon work great for stuff like sand, for sure. And then I'm just going to use some spray adhesive to kind of glue that down from the top. Kind of maybe shot out a little strong there. And that way I can put another layer just to get a little bit better coverage. But I'm fine with some sand getting on my flip-flops because, you know, flip-flops should have sand on them, right? And just kind of gluing that in place. You could do a little bit more different colors of blue back there if you really kind of wanted to make it look even more like the ocean. But I think this looks super fun for a quick, easy little luau DIY. And I'm going to put that on my cabinet. Here are my sandy flip-flops. Super cute. And I have a shelf. It's not too tall. And so it kind of fits in there just perfectly. This would also be really cute, though, if you wanted to do like a hanging sign with it. And this is how mine turned out. Okay, the next item is something I found at Goodwill. Got it super cheap. It's just a grass in a metal um, tray. You can see that I've already decorated it previously. I think I've used this for Easter. I've used this for a lot of different DIYs. And so I already had some burlap on there um, that didn't really go with a coastal luau vibe. But I have this really bright ribbon that I found at Dollar Tree. It's like a color block, like 
really neon colors. It just screams like luau to me. And I'm just going to cover up the lace portion on this from a previous DIY and kind of make it go with my theme. I've used this grass thing over and over. So I've definitely got my like couple of dollars that I paid for it at Goodwill out of it. Um, for Easter, I like hide like um, Easter eggs in it. Super fun. But for this one, I want it to look like grass because I wanted to do a pink flamingo. So using one of those little plastic pink flamingos from the Dollar Tree, I want to make it look like it's standing in grass. So once I get the colors updated, the burlap goes great. I'm going to use a plastic pink flamingo here from the Dollar Tree. I tried to use it initially as is by just putting the metal legs in it and standing it in the grass. And I thought this would be fun and whimsical. The only issue is I'm going to put this in a cabinet. And so it wasn't quite going to fit. So I need to make the legs a little bit more, more where I can adjust them. So I'm going to just kind of replace them with um, some of those little skewers, the food skewers from the Dollar Tree. That way I can cut them. And if you need a cheap way to cut them, those little na pet nail clippers from the Dollar Tree work great for snipping those. And I'm just going to replace the legs with that. That way I can make the legs shorter and make my little flamingo not stand up quite as high. But same concept, just kind of stand him in the grass. And I even took a lay um, and cut off a small piece of it, tied it together and made a cute little lay and just put that around his neck just for a fun little whimsical touch there. And this is how he looks and hit this grassy yard here on my cabinet. <laughs> so fun. Okay, the next DIY is I'm going to use one of these little pineapples from the Dollar Tree. It's one of the tinsel ones. You guys know I love using these for the cages. You can craft things with them and make them look so much more high end, but I'm just going to take all the tinsel off that I don't really appreciate. <laughs> and leave that like that. I don't really mind the green on top, not super sparkly, but I did want like a kind of a wrapped rope effect. So I'm gonna take some of the brown rope from the Dollar Tree. This is the thinner one, doesn't matter which one you use. And I am going to glue that to the back of our cage. And then we're simply just gonna wrap this pineapple with rope, kind of like you would wrap something with twine. I wasn't sure if the tabs would stick out. The rope's not super thick. And I found that they kind of did still stick out. So no big deal, they're just plastic. I just use some like heavy duty um, scissors and just snip those all off, just so they don't get my way. And then I'm just gonna simply wrap that around. That's about how far one package will go. Whenever you go all the way around a project like that, um, a lot of times, you know, they don't go very far because you're also wrapping the back of it, but that's okay. I'm just going to start a new package here on the back and then continue wrapping that around. It'd be really cute if you also wrapped it like with the burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree. It's going to give you kind of the same effect. I just wanted something kind of subtle, just a cute little pineapple decor. I've made so many things with like these pineapples. Um, I, my pineapple coffee bar that I did last year, I covered them with those wood sola flowers from the crafter square at Dollar Tree um, for the body of the pineapple part. And that turned out so fun too. I love that idea. So as you can see, it's going to require multiple packages to cover this up. But in the end, we're going to get a really cute little rope pineapple. And I do like it better than the tinsel that was on there before. So that's about how far that one's going to go. And I did have like just a spare piece left over from another DIY so we can just fill in the bottom part. Now, if you wanted to just cover the front part, you wouldn't waste quite as much rope like on the back of it as I did. You could always kind of go back and forth. That is another option. Or you could go in a circular pattern. Um, start in the middle and do circles all the way around and kind of drag that out, kind of make it more like an oval shape. I've done something similar to that too, because you guys know I love crafting with Dollar Tree rope. It's one of my favorite coastal touches for DIYs. 
You do have to use a little hot glue when you get towards the end here, kind of gluing it to itself and finishing it off by covering up all of the plastic down there. So I'm gonna leave the green part like that because I still want that fun party vibe that I like the combination with the rope. I'm gonna use a lighter to burn off the fuzzies and just display it on a plate, like a little display rack. One of my friends 3D printed those for me. It's so cute and they are great too, but you could always use like a little Dollar Tree stand too if you wanted to stand yours up like I did. Otherwise it'd be super cute hanging decor. And I just wanted something kind of subtle over here next to my pink flamingo that we did in the grass. And then for the front of my cabinet, I'm going to use another one of those hula skirts from the Dollar Tree. This is the child size, and I'm just going to use it to hang it. You can even do this on the front of a cabinet, which is what I'm going to do to cover up the base of my cabinet. And I, you guys know I love crafting with these. Nothing you really have to craft, though. Just open it up and you have a little skirt. And then I told you I was also going to decorate with some lays on that. So this one's a nice, pretty color. Look at the color of this one from the Dollar Tree. And But I kind of just want it to be decor. And so I'm just going to kind of use it as is, right? And then I'm going to also use one of these green ones. This is the one that I made the little lay for the flamingo out of that I showed you all ago. And this is how I did it. And then I can always use the rest of that for more decor. So I just cut it and tied off a little miniature lay. That was my son's idea. He thought my pink flamingo needed a lay around his neck. And I agree. It totally did. And then this is one of kind of the bigger green flower lays from the Dollar Tree. And basically I just cut it so that I can kind of use it like a garland and just kind of decorate around the items that we made for our luau DIYs. And I just hot glue the string down just to keep it from um, falling apart on me. Just a quick, easy little hack there. That probably works even better than trying to tie it off. And then I will show you how my cabinet looks together with all of these fun luau DIYs. You could do this for summer. You could do this for a party. I think it's really fun. There's a little a grass skirt on there. And then the garland, the green one, you can see I just used it, draped it over the top of my cabinet. The blue one I kind of used around my little directional arrow sign. But that is the luau decor DIYs that we made. Hey guys, I wanted to take a quick moment to tell you that I've introduced memberships here on my channel for $4.99 a month. You can support me here at Crafty Beach. You're going to get early ad-free access to my videos and other perks, including shout outs. And I want to give a huge shout out. Thank you to the following 10 Crafty Beach Bump members. Thank you to Karen O'Haran, Coastal Couple, Pamela Bergeron, I am Mojo Jojo, Mary Banks, Melinda Elizabeth, Jamie Job, Susan Edmonds, Stacy Gravat and Sandra Ray. Thank you so much for supporting me here at Crafty Beach. I appreciate you so much. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed. Comment your favorite DIY below or just come say hello in the comments. I appreciate you and don't forget to subscribe. We're trying to get to 20,000 subscribers and now it's time for the final reveal. Enjoy. Hard working every day, I'm stressed out 24-7, babe, no, no timeouts Wish we could fly away, you and I Go to our favorite place, oh yeah, yeah Make special memories, together I'll be your company, now and forever
We're taking away, yeah, we're taking away. We'll never come down. We're going away, yeah, we're going away. You and me. Feeling the sun on my face in a while. From a ghost town where we never feel high to slow. We won't ever come down. We won't ever come down though. Feeling the sun on my face in a white. So much for watching today if you'd like to watch more crafty beach youtube thinks that you might enjoy this video right here